New Year's Eve, everybody. I'm wrapping up 2020 with more than just a film. It's an experience, a bonanza of 90s greatness, wrapped up in some incredible star power, and a story that takes us to faraway lands. A movie so packed with... Fungus? Come on. Are you kidding me? There's nothing. I'm not going into this thing dry. No grounds, no booze. Lanuski? If you're gonna celebrate New Year's, could you please pick something besides popcorn to throw? What a damn mess! Oh, I'm not celebrating. I'm I'm looking for coffee so I can make it through this movie. There's like a million bags of popcorn in here. How do you not have the basics? It's a movie about New York City plumbers and magical fungus. What do you need besides popcorn? Trivial Theater. It's the Super Mario Brothers movie. It's gotta be done right. And there was a cock. Oh, a cock and a pussy, except this pussy's from <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> you are correct. <laughs> Sorry, Brain, if you're watching. Well, I tell you, Dave, David Attenborough's uh, Planet Earth definitely isn't quite the production I thought it would be. Yeah, I thought ILM or some shit would have been helping him, not um, who, whoever did the room movie on Newgrounds. Hey, it's Brooklyn back in the day. It looks not that much different. Yeah. What if the dinosaurs weren't all destroyed? What if? Hmm. What if? What if they found a way back? <laughs> I just, I love how they think that line's so Mario. Like, oh, that's right out of the NES playbook, that line. This is the perfect time to show the title. What should be addressed well before the meat of the movie comes is that they were making this movie without, like, much to work with in terms of visual reference. Like, you had the Super Mario Brothers Super Show Maximum. But besides that, it's like, how, how do you make a live action version of this? Like, they were really just making this up as they went. It was definitely its own thing. There's no doubt about that. You know, the fact that the Catholic Church has traditionally not been about video game movies, the fact that Daisy ends up at a Catholic Church is kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the church is also totally about dinosaurs as well, so. Well, if you've seen Velocipaster, I mean, it is sort of. The stained glasses look at on like, holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> This is not in my book. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, this is way out of my depth. <laughs> Damn you, Parallel Dimension. Was that Sigourney Weaver? It could have been. Hey, I love the plungers on the wall for many different sizes for all the shit that you have to deal with in life. Uh, <laughs> they probably don't have a plunger big enough for this movie. Hey, he's got, he's got nuts on his chest. <laughs> Again? Bob Hoskins is a pitch-perfect Mario circa 1990 whatever the fuck this was made in. Oh, now there's shoes on his nuts. We got two of the most prominent uh, Italian talents playing the Italians in this film. <laughs> that guy? <laughs> no, I meant Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Leguizamo, is he, is he Latino? No, he is Latino. Yeah. Okay, so they didn't even get it a little right. <laughs> Man, look at those guys wearing those monkey suits. I hope that phrasing of what I just said doesn't come back to bite them. <laughs> wow. This movie is kind of trying to be like multiple other movies from the time. Like right now we've got the Spielbergian stuff. We've got the gritty New York from the 80s and 90s. And then we'll have Blade Runner later. Oh, totally. But, you know, it kind of sh like her whole thing reminds me of Jurassic Park a little. <laughs> yeah, you're right. She does look like she drives a Jeep. Carries around a, a raptor claw. She would say clever girl. Are we just going to ignore bulk and skull light in the taxi cab here? <laughs> Careful. Careful, hot. It's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Thankfully, they never go there. <laughs> What's really good. funny is this movie does a better job of representing actual Italians than Mario ever did. Hey, fresh mozzarella. He didn't come out with any? How Italian is that? I mean, honestly. That's what you put in a van if you want to make it go. <laughs> I like how he got the bougiest water for his vehicle. Well, you know, they can't pay their bills, but you got to treat the van well. You know, we, we got a van. <laughs> oh, I've seen this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's even got the um, the, the um, Italian like sperm necklace thing going on. <laughs> yeah, John Leguizamo looks about 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he looks like an old 12 year old. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how Steve Buscemi looks old and young at the same time. This has like that. Uh, I, I really do love the 90s New York grime. Like the 70s gets a lot of uh, 
gets a lot of praise for having that distinct grit. But the 90s, even like the crappiest movies, there's just like this dirtiness to it that's nice on the eyes. Yeah, it's not Vancouver trying to parade as New York, it's New York. <laughs> Correct. He's been my father, my uncle, my brother, everybody. Hold up, that sounds like a redneck family. He's my father, my brother, my uncle. <laughs> uh, you know, we're just, we're just Italian rednecks. You know, the one thing that's good about a Bob Hoskins, he doesn't try and fake hair the way Bruce Willis does. I mean, he's semi-bald, he's just, that's the way he is. He, he just embraces his own Bob Hoskins-ness. Oh yeah, and he's a sexy bitch because of it. I, it, I, I totally agree. I don't even care that he's doing like a repeat of his Roger Rabbit character. Like it, it's deserving of Mario. And then spending your nights reading about things that have been dead for sixty-five million years. I mean, that is hmm, like my sex life. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> like I found it on DVD at a Toys R Us when I was like eight or nine, and I just couldn't believe the fucking package I was looking at. And then I just couldn't stop showing it to all my friends. Nice. Yeah, it's quite the conversation starter. I'm sure many, uh, many dates have started with this. Oh, yeah. None of them went well. Eh, that's okay. <laughs> if they can't appreciate the genius of the Super Mario Brothers movie, then what is the point? Man, the sudden need to pee is intense. <laughs> oh, yeah. Scabelli. Not Scabelli. If it was Romero, it wouldn't be a big deal, but Scabelli? <laughs> I love Mario, man. He is the best character in the entire thing. Absolutely. There is a close second, but we'll we'll sing his praises when he <laughs> when he shows up. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna let go too much too quickly. Yeah. I'm of course talking about Toad. I'm personally a large fan of Goomba number five. Uh yeah, five's alright. I think four's got a better ass. You're gonna judge based on physical traits alone? Jesus. What an asshole. I'm not really good at reading the personalities of giant lumbering mushroom people. <laughs> I mean, maybe you are. <laughs> uh, occasionally. And I can't believe I remembered that line. <laughs> I'm proud of you. This is the part where film theory would be like, is the Super Mario Brothers movie a dream? <laughs> in the 15th scene, Mario and Luigi are struck in the heads with flashlights. The Mummy sequel's looking bad. How did he do that much of a flip? Well, it's Bob Hoskins. He's just that awesome. That's true. For the, for the budget of this movie, they do actually do a really good job with, like, this set. You know, it's they shoot it as such to make it feel like a new world. Yeah, it feels otherworldly. They do some pretty good um, world building in its own weird way. It's a mog. I'm my own best friend. R.I.P. Candy. Ooh, let's go. Let, let's go. I want to <laughs> go over there. Here's the top tier introduction for our king. And I don't mean the king of the city, I just mean my king. Oh, germs everywhere, fungus. 65 million years. We've been exiled here after the meteorite struck. A champion of independent American cinema talking about fungus, meteors, and dinosaur people. I think all the acid he did when he was doing Easy Rider influenced his decision to do this film. Just a little bit. What the f- uh, I forget. That. Even as a kid, that shot used to bug me. I do love tiny little lizards on a, on a hoagie. <laughs> Don't we all? This is OG Toad before he was like a whole species and was just a single character. Which in itself tells you something. Mm. That, that Toad was the freaking Bob Dylan of this universe? Yeah, there's a leg. This scene defined my sexuality. <laughs> all of it, not just the leg. <laughs> I love watching cops fight. So anyone with a, with a high heel and like weird kind of cut up pants, like rubbing against. Oh no, cop specifically a cop's collarbone, <laughs> and there's like plumbers watching. <laughs> and oh, oh sweet, <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Oh yes, <laughs> uh, it's all coming back to me now. All of a sudden, a cat comes in, starts like like pawing, <laughs> just booping them on the forehead. <laughs> Whoever came up with the set design and, like, the, the character design for all this stuff, they were high yeah. on acid, weren't they? Maybe they were high <laughs> on mushrooms, honestly. An evil, egg-sucking son of a snake. Wow. I'm gonna have to mute that. <laughs> <laughs> Replace it with rainbow sounds. To the Devo Chamber. The Devo Chamber? Whip it. <laughs> Whip it good. Rex, the Lizard King, thank you very much. Oh, damn it. They had the Lizard King reference without David Bowie? Ugh, what the oh, hell? That's a, this does seem like a movie David Bowie would have at least cameoed in. 
<laughs> Our villain, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> I'll kill that plumber! That line is evocative of I hate that hedgehog spoken by Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic cartoon. So now Nintendo is stealing from Sega? Ugh. Hey, Sega does what Nintendo don't, man. I'm trying to think if it was this movie, Bob Hoskins, like, busted his collarbone or his ankle or some shit, and he kept <laughs> working throughout the entire movie. Yeah, he was also plastered throughout a majority of the filming. You know, I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him in the slightest. Because we're sitting on my butt all day playing video games, that's why. Uh, I see what you did there, you motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I, too, am an epic gamer. Now that's a good way to start a fire. <laughs> If there's one thing that this city really takes pride in, it's its safety measures. You know, that is one thing. There seems to be a lot more fire in the future. Yeah, and like on purpose. <laughs> Those were their um, their headshots when they went to audition? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean I didn't have to put in any effort? <laughs> God, there's like, there's, there's like nonstop just mess and stuff everywhere. It's just so dense. There's so many layers. It, well, there's there's two cop cars on top of each other, so yeah, that's pretty dense. Now, here's a question. Does this movie or Blues Brothers have more, like, car destruction? That's a great question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There it is. <laughs> that's our handshake now, just saying. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Next con. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> It's because she's wearing Doc Martens. She knew. She just knew. <laughs> How can they do this to white Eric Andre? They need to have their pinkies in the air to be taken seriously. Correct. I'm a 90s kid. Uh, I know how to drink tea. If you, could just, if you could just pour some Jack Daniels into my hoo cup. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I was wondering what you were drinking. Oh, it's been whiskey. I got rid of the coffee a while ago. You know, I don't blame you. You know, the coffee here at the theater is absolute shit. So that's what I tasted. <laughs> I didn't mean literal, but uh, sure. All of my money goes into, uh, you know, movies, because the movies I review are, are of such high quality. Oh, yeah, for sure. You gotta cut your losses where necessary. Oh, hey, get a, I get a topless uh, John Leguizamo shot. And oh, a yeah. rainbow belt. Dude, Hell Mario yeah. Brothers is woke as fuck. That dress is just... I don't know how to describe it. It's just weird. The gradient is very upsetting. Uh, don't move your hands around like a small wounded animal. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a line. That that's is Dennis line. Hopper. <laughs> <laughs> Hoosiers. Easy Rider. Apocalypse Now. Speed. <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> yeah, that. What a weird little vehicle. Oh my god. The, the, the upgrade did nothing. No, not really. I forgot the Mario Brothers were in this movie for a second. <laughs> it is more of a movie that features the Mario Brothers as compared to really, you know, stars them. Years ago. Yes, you see, once this rock is reinserted into the meteorite... Once the rock is reinserted into the meteorite... <laughs> yeah, I've seen this one, too. Super Boner Brothers? <laughs> Kieran Lee, Johnny Sins are. <laughs> <laughs> they like to stick their mushrooms in places where they don't belong. <laughs> I mean, Ron Jeremy inf infamously dressed up as Mario, but he's kind of a creep. I much prefer a more modern Mario. Yeah, I don't blame you there. Though John Waters would have been a really good director for that kind of a porn. Oh, he absolutely would. I, I dare say John Waters could have made a regular ass Mario movie. Oh, totally. He could have been in it if he really wanted to. You've seen that mustache? All right, so if we ever end up in the apocalypse, make sure to carry around plungers. Plumbers. Just the just the disdain for plumbers and plumber tools and plumber lifestyle. Well, that's a Scorsese <laughs> shot. Oh, yeah, very much. It's always nice when you can slow dance with the one that you love. Yeah, like the meteorite <laughs> shard around her cleavage. I was actually talking about her cleavage, but okay. That works too. Uh, sorry, we're on two <laughs> different wavelengths. Man, they've really angered not Tilda Swinton. It's the worst crime possible. Use the stomper! Stomper? I hardly know her. This movie has made me dumber. I appreciate your sacrifice. Many, many brain cells died to give you this episode. <laughs> stop fiddling with a fungus and let's get out! He told him to stop fiddling with his fungus. <laughs> uh, if I had a nickel. 
the tower! A shot's come! Man, this writing is so good. <laughs> <laughs> the lizard! The tower! Daisy, the rock! Yeah, there isn't a, a, a massive amount of garbage in this movie. <sighs> this movie is literally trash. Fascist! Oppressor of the proletariat! God. Oh my god. These guys were ahead of the fucking game. I feel like they belong in Les Mis, honestly. <laughs> oh, like, I'm imagining a reskin of Les Mis in this fucking dumpster heap. I'm always offering my meat to princesses, Waka. Good night, everyone. But, but my meat. It's out. <laughs> Come back. You know, these guys are the true love interests of the movie, you know? Yeah. They're like the heart and soul. I'm rooting for them, really. Here's an uh, asshole. <laughs> that's a scrotum. Oh, right. Don't you see the resemblance? <laughs> <laughs> well, during that, uh, that special time in my life, I did ooze like that. <laughs> <laughs> TMI Trivial Theater. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a, an atomic wedgie going on, though, I gotta tell you. Why are the vents always so big in movies? Like, they're never that big. I'm sure even in Mushroom Land, they're not that big. No, if, if, if the dinosaurs were the, were the ancestors of modern society, they'd have bigger vents because they're cold-blooded. Eat the mushroom, you know you want to eat the mushroom. Yeah, the walls will melt and you can feel galaxies in your toes. <laughs> I can taste purple. Well, it's good to know that we can uh, relegate the entire Mario experience down to a 51-story uh, uh, skyscraper. I mean, that's pretty game-sounding. If they yeah. made it like Die Hard in the Koopa Tower, that actually would have been sick. That would have been really cool, actually. This is a violation of civil liberties. What civil liberties? You're in another dimension, you bitch. Yeah, the rules are different. Self-centered twat. Right. Hey, I'm freezing my butt off here. There's cold. Why don't you wear underwear then, you simpleton? That might be good. But it was the <laughs> 90s. I mean, that guy's not wearing underwear, I mean, if we're being honest. <laughs> yeah, he's from the kink cop district. <laughs> if I were if I were a YouTube pooper, I would have put a PNG of a scrotum on his palm there. <laughs> 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 Sir, I believe you were looking for this. <laughs> Where's my pizza? That's a good question. He never really got his pizza, did he? No, That's no. It's one of the true uh, pieces of tension in this film. You know, this is a cool runnings part of the movie. You know? <laughs> we have to cover all of our bases. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Some people, you know they can't believe. Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom got a bobsled theme. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, movie. Well, it's good to know that Bob Hoskins could uh, perform while completely toasted. <laughs> There's 20% of this movie that's just pure, like... Let's make 90s Mario a badass. I'm all for it. It's just, I don't care about this meteorite. I don't care about not Tilda Swinton. <laughs> and I don't care about Bowser Trump. <laughs> God, so many sparks. Yes. Just a complete I, liability. A little bit. Can you, like, the insurance on this movie must have just been insane. <laughs> Although Dennis Hopper running through a bunch of spark cars with, like, a laser gun. That is a Kino-ass shot. Oh, yeah. I would agree. I mean, that's taxi driver level right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It, it perfected what taxi driver started. <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, God, I oh. was right. I didn't know. Coincidence. You know, he looks better. He I lost agree. the orange skin. <laughs> I think he could sell a lot more homes that way. Uh, fun fact, the flamethrower Devo guns are actually super scopes from the Super NES era with, like, a bunch of shit on them. That's cool. Uh, I know. <laughs> Our princess is in another castle. No! Not the donut pig, my favorite food thing. Hello, nightmares. Hello, Reebok. Oh. Cha-ching. <laughs> Product placement, my one weakness. See you later, alligator! not an alligator, he's actually a dinosaur. He's a Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think. Uh, he's having an identity crisis. Yeah, I think he identifies as a pile of slime now. Yeah, yeah. That or the T-1000. Oh my god, we're really getting all of them, aren't we? Yes, we are. <laughs> this is like a fucking scrapbook of 80s and 90s pop culture. <laughs> That's a terrible effect. <laughs> what? what? You, don't, you don't like effects that remind you of Animorph covers? You know, there's a time and a place... I don't feel like this movie is one of them. 
I'm just saying. <laughs> God damn it. I feel like this is Back to the Future 2. Right. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. I think there was a um there was a comic book sequel to this. Really? Yeah, I would have to look it up because I would really love to see what the hell happened after. <laughs> Oh, totally. It would have been really interesting. It was very presumptuous of them to think there was going to be another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they also believed, and as anyone who watched the movie knows, it's important to believe. Oh, good. Goomba. Who played Goomba? <laughs> who played none? Hat check girl got put in there before Goomba did. Scabrelli. I rag on this movie a lot, but it takes me back to a simpler time when uh things could just be weird and I wouldn't... I, I I wouldn't notice or care that they were weird. Yeah, it does have that that amazing ability of the '90s movies to have that, like like the pizza thing. You know, you don't think about the fact that it never arrived. Like it just like it's a random thing, but it's such a fun little detail. Uh, just the idea that it's even remotely connected to like the most well-known video game franchise ever. Like it, it definitely gives it the novelty factor. I really I, re I really love Bob Hoskins in this movie. <laughs> He is, he is the best, I think genuinely, he is the best thing about this film, so. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Thanks, not Rob Schneider and not Eric Andre. We really appreciate what you contributed to this cinematic opus. Special thanks to Lanuski for joining me. Make sure to check out his channel for well-edited, interesting vids on everything from movies to YouTube personalities. You'll find his links in the description below. So what do you think? Suggestions for movies, trivial questions, comments, ratings, and a pair of Thwomp Stomper boots would be appreciated. Thank you so very much for watching.